Hi there mommies and fellow DIYers. So welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted a video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I DIY'd a cardboard school bus for my kids who are obsessed with the magic school bus right now. Uh, uh, mostly my um, oldest daughter, that she's seven, and she watches it in school now, and they learn a lot about the human body, about uh, space, uh, all that good stuff that comes with Magic School Bus. So if you are interested in making your own Magic School Bus or just a school bus out of cardboard for your kids to play with, then let's get started. And before we do, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, so I'm using a 20 inch wardrobe box to make this school bus. And I found this one outside on the curbside. I think my neighbor tossed it out. And when my daughter and I saw this, she automatically said, let's make a school bus so we can play with for this summer. So we decided to take it inside. And first I started making the base of the school bus and it's a rectangle box and then I went to my office to put together the front part of the school bus and I'm using what I cut off from that same box and I have three narrow pieces and then I have a bigger one that I'm gonna put on top so I'm using my hot glue gun please be careful with your fingers don't burn yourself and I'm gently putting them together so they will stick and then after I do that I'm going to use some scotch tape or use whatever tape you have in hand just to reinforce it. So after I finish with that, I'm just going to place it in the front of this main box that I just made and I'm using my hot glue gun to stick it to the box and as you can see the side parts are perfect because they're longer and they overlap the main box that I made and I'm putting uh, using hot glue and the scotch tape to reinforce it. Now I'm just measuring um, good distances and I'm going to cut the top part and I'm going to do the same and cut the bottom part so they can easily go in and out of the box and um, they can use it in the grass or whatever. I'm also cutting the windows right now. I'm cutting three squares on, the si on each side of this um, rectangle box. So now that I have the frame, I took it outside and I told my kids, now you can help me paint the entire school bus Whoa! in yellow. So that's practically what you're going to need to get, you know, just a lot of yellow paint from the craft store. So that's mainly what you're going to spend your money on. So now let's go on to making the steering wheel. I grabbed a bowl and I used it to make a circle and then I have to make another circle inside of it and a smaller one in there to make the steering wheel as the cartoon that you saw that I put a picture of. I'm using a paper towel roll um, tube, paper towel roll tube, I don't know how you say it, but it's um, something that you use for craft and I'm going to use it to stick it onto the wheel from the back and then I grabbed what was left over of that cardboard that I used for the steering wheel and I made a hole inside of it to make the steering wheel. Now I'm going to attach it to the school bus. So I'm going to use my hot glue gun as you can see here and just put it at an angle. So I'm waiting for it to dry and for it to not fall, I'm just going to use, I'm going to cut a cardboard also that was left over and I'm going to hot glue it at an angle so it, it holds the steering wheel and it's stuck to the bottom of the box. So everything at a like like a 45 degree angle and right here you see me using the leftover cardboard to make the wheels. Now I printed out the stop sign just to make the frame 
and I'm using this uh, cardboard box that I got from uh, buying a bunch of sodas or in my case I bought a lot of mics uh, just to keep in my refrigerator and I'm using the side part to um, that's already folded you know just to make the stop sign that goes in and out and on the other side I'm putting hot glue to stick it onto the school bus now I just need something to hold it uh, together and I have this velcro so I'm going to use this velcro to stick the stop sign in and out so the kids can use it and now I'm using this this long wooden dowel that I already have from a previous project and using my table saw I just removed the piece that was just too long and then I placed it inside the box and this is for my kids so they can grab and take the school bus with them so this is how the school bus looks guys and I think it came out great uh, we painted it all and we painted inside black everything just so the yellow could stand out even more we have the wheels and the steering wheel and the side wooden dowel so the kids can pick the tire school bus up and we have the velcro for the stop sign you can put it in the front you can put it to the side so I think that came out great the steering wheel turns um, and yeah you can use it to turn pretend play at its finest